Um, I'm Debbie, I work at LSE Library and I'm joined today by another professor from London School of Economics. Could you just introduce yourself, just say your name and what you do at the, the LSE? Hi, my name is Yuna Han and I research and teach on international politics at the LSE. Brilliant. Well, thanks for joining me today. Um, you also wrote um, the part of this report with Martin and Kate at, at the LSE. And we're really here to talk today about the global pandemic, what we mean by global and your kind of research around South Korea in, in particular. But before we get there, I just wondered what you remember about the, um, th that first lockdown really in March, April, what images you had, what were your memories of that time? Yeah, I think from South Korea, I was seeing a lot of news kind of reports and images of lines outside of pharmacies to get masks because South Korea kind of brought in the almost mandatory use of masks quite early on. So people were quite struggling to acquire them. But from my personal experience, so my mom and my grandparents still live, in, still live in South Korea. So a lot of my first lockdown was spent on Zoom, looking at them in these small squares, trying to support each other from across the globe through this lockdown. That's really interesting because lots of you know kids will have been doing that on zoom or facetime or whatsapp or whatever video conferencing thing they can use and they may be doing it like from one across one city to the, the other bit of a city or a town even you know um so but you were doing that right across the world which kind of brings me to my next question about the world and what do we mean by a global pandemic what does that actually mean yeah, so when we say that COVID-19 is a global pandemic, um, we are highlighting the fact that the virus has reached almost every country in the world and they have been affected by it. So the virus spread across different towns and cities and countries across the globe as people have moved around. So lots of people right now that are from different places, different political systems and cultures are all experiencing similar difficulties with the pandemic, like lockdown effects from the virus or people dying, loved ones dying from the virus itself. This also means that the pandemic is something that we need to try to solve, not just in our own countries and communities, but in other parts of the world as well. Because as long as some communities are suffering from the virus, even if they seem very far away from us, we will always have this risk of the virus coming back. Right? So when we say that COVID-19 is a global pandemic, I think what we're really trying to highlight is that it should be a moment of solidarity across the globe. We really are in this all together. 